Hey, our friends, in this lesson, we're going to draw an underwater sea creature. What are we drawing? A seahorse. Yeah, we hope you're going to follow along. You need your drawing supplies. We're going to use markers, but you can use whatever you have at home. You also need some? Paper and some color with. All right, you ready to start? Yes. Let's first draw our seahorse's eye up here in the middle of our paper towards the top. We're going to draw a circle like that. And then we can also draw another circle that's smaller in the top right. And then let's color in the big circle, but leave that little circle white. Okay, now let's draw the head. We're gonna start above the eye and we're gonna draw a curve that goes over the eye, down like this, and then out for the mouth or the nose. And then we'll leave a little space right below the top of the mouth and we're going to draw another curve that comes back like this and underneath. It's thinner up at the front and then thicker back here. Now let's connect the two lines up at the front. And we could also draw a little oval for the mouth. Now, I'm not sure if that's what it looks like, but there we go. Yeah. And, then, and then we could draw little bumps for the back of the head. So I'm going to draw a bunch of little bumps that connect the top of the head down to the bottom of the head. Now we're ready to draw the rest of our seahorse. We're going to start by drawing the neck all the way down to the back and into the tail. This is a really fun line to draw. We're going to start here and we're going to draw a curve. Comes down for the neck. Then we're going to come in for the back and then back out. And then let's curve around for the tail like that. <laughs> this is really fun to draw. So start here, we're gonna draw two bumps. Yeah, and then come in for the back and then the tail, curve around into a spiral. Yes! Now we're ready to draw the front of our seahorse. We'll start here for the neck. We're gonna curve around like this, but watch this. We're gonna come really far out for the belly and then back in and then for the tail, we're going to curve around like this. Look at that. I get smaller and smaller or closer and closer until it comes to a point. So come out for the belly. Yes. And then you get closer and closer until you come to a point. You did it. That was really tricky, but you did such a great job. And I love that our two drawings don't look exactly the same. They're both turning out awesome. And it's okay if your drawings look different too. I'm sure they're turning out really cool. The most important thing is to have fun and to practice. Practice. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's keep going. Now let's add extra details to our seahorse. Let's draw the belly next. We're going to draw another curve that comes around. It's going to match look a little bit different. Here we go. And then watch this. I'm not going to go all the way around to the tail. We're just going to come in like that. So start really close here. Then you kind of get further away at the belly and then closer down here at the bottom. Nice. Now let's add the texture lines to the belly. Let's start right here in the middle and we'll go straight across. Okay, now we're going to add texture lines going up the belly, but watch, I'm going to turn them kind of like a fan so that it matches the shape of the belly and the neck. Kind of looks like a ladder, a curved ladder. Now let's do the lines for the belly going down and I'm going to curve them going the other way. Now let's draw a fin for a seahorse. I'm going to start right here in the middle of the body and I'm going to draw a line that comes out. And then I'm going to draw another little line that comes back. But look, it, it looks like a spike. So it gets thicker towards the body. Yeah. Now let's add another spike going up. More of a diagonal spike. Now let's also draw a, another spike going down. Oh, we could even add, let's add one more spike going down even further, but look, this one's even shorter. Now let's connect the outside edge of all of these spikes with a little curve like that. And then we'll connect down to this one and then down to the bottom one. Well, that's a really cool fin. Now let's add another detail going all the way down the back. I'm going to draw another line out here. Kind of looks like the spike. 
And then let's add two more, but look, they get smaller as they go towards the head. So this one's medium and then this one's short. Let's add more spikes coming down to the fin and maybe these ones get smaller too as they come towards the fin. And then let's add more spikes down here on the tail. So this one's gonna be a little bit longer and then we can draw more spikes and maybe they get smaller too as they come up to the fin. And then I'm gonna add more spikes going down the tail and these could get smaller also. Now let's connect each of these spikes together just like we did for the fin. Let's start here at the front and then let's connect to the next one and then the next one and let's go all the way until we get down to the fin. Let's keep going and connect all of the spikes down the tail. All the way until you get to the last one. And then at the very last one, we can draw a curve going into the tail. We did it, us, and we finished drawing our seahorse. Except we're not completely done. We still need to color it. Yeah, this part will fast forward, but at the end, you can pause the video to match our same coloring. Or you can color it any way you want. Yeah, you ready to fast forward? Yeah. Awesome, we did it. We finished drawing and coloring our seahorses, and I love that you changed the colors. Thank you. You can also finish your drawings by adding a background. Yeah, you could draw the whole ocean. Yes. Maybe also some baby seahorses. And you can also add seaweed and bubbles. Oh, that would be really cool. We hope you have a lot of fun drawing your seahorse. And we hope you take time to color your drawings, and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.